All right, so here's the third common myth I hear from people. The only way to practice balance is to overwhelm our sense of balance. Standing on one foot while reaching out or using an extremely demanding surface like a wobble disc. To me, those count as overwhelming the sense of balance. And a lot of our culture um, has the idea that that's the only way to practice balance. But when we're really overwhelmed, we often feel unsafe, threatened, uncomfortable. There's a lot of internal discord like Cynthia talked about. We might even feel bad about ourselves if we're not good at it. We think we shouldn't feel like this is so difficult, even though it's difficult for everyone because it's difficult physics. Each of those feelings suppresses our ability to actually learn a new skill. So we go into willpower mode. Willpower is what we use when we lack skill. I'll say that again, because it's one of my favorite definitions. Willpower is what we use when we lack skill. We overwhelm ourselves. We cannot behave skillfully in the situation. We start talking to ourselves. We start harnessing our willpower to solve the short-term problem, but we cause all sorts of other problems. We get overwhelmed and we become fearful and we have all those challenges we talked about with strength where we're rigid, we're insensitive. We're actually more susceptible to falling because you can't make those little corrective actions through your body. You'll improve more and faster by instead of overwhelming your sense of balance to practice, by setting up situations where you can actually learn skills. Think like that kind of learning of a baby in the crib, all right? We're gonna ask you to stick to more playful challenges to balance, like the one I'm gonna lead you in in a moment, and listening carefully to your sensations, attending to your ease, resting when you want to, relationships in the body. All of this isn't so possible when the feeling is that we're overwhelmed. <laughs> Thank you.